What's up beautiful people, it's your boy Joshua Martin and this is a quick BTS video of my latest review of the SLR Magics and that's what kind of want to walk you through the setup. Starting off with the lighting situation, so I boomed my 120D from Aperture above with a diffuser. Now this diffuser is actually a tablecloth bought from Target and then I flagged it off with a black shim, however you want to call it. That gave me this illuminating light from the top and I was able to add some other lights in the background, which I'll talk about now. These lights I bought from Home Depot. I wanted something to give it kind of like a, a unique look in the background and something that would separate the lens and edge it from the back. Now these aren't photo lights that you can use in all situations. Luckily that the GH5 has an option to shoot in shutter angle. And so I just dialed down um, to a certain number where, where I didn't see the banding because you will experience banding with these lights uh, just because they're not made for recording um, video with. But that was the workaround. So if you, if you have a GH5, it'll work for you. Now, even though it was an anamorphic review, I used my 35 millimeter from SLR Magic for all the B-roll shots and I just cropped it in post to that aspect ratio to fit all the anamorphic clips. And I used my animal showgun to actually give me the markers that I need. So it's a neat little feature that you can add the black bars to show the aspect ratio so you can crop ahead of time. So you have a, so you can have in mind how the crop's gonna be ahead of time. So I lined it up just where I needed it. And again, I, I used those top bars for that aspect ratio that I was gonna actually finish the project with. Like I said, this is gonna be a short video, but as you can see here, this was our messy apartment. We still have no furniture, but uh, this is my good friend, Eric. He was the subject in the video. And as you see, I have my light off to the side and we were just doing those tests that you normally do with lenses. So you're checking the bokeh, the focus, um, the breathing, the distortion on the edges. We're doing all that in this particular shot here. And yeah, guys, so this was a very quick video, very short, but I know I wanted, I wanted to get this out to you guys so you can see what the behind the scenes kind of looks. If I miss anything or if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you on the next one.